All right, everybody, excuse the quarantine haircut. Have not had a haircut in months, man. Looks like a daggum need one. But anyways, this video right here, me and Hunter decided to jump in a tournament on Lake Martin uh, like an entire month ago. And we I hadn't been over there to the lake in a few years. And there was a couple areas of the lake that I wanted to go fish that I've never fished in my entire life. So we drove there a day early, caught us a bunch of fish, practiced, I guess you'd call it practice. We never went back to that same area in the tournament. We just went over there. Caught some good ones though, like really, really caught some really nice ones, and we caught almost all largemouth Lake Martin. That's just kind of the way it always is for me. I just seem to bust largemouth everywhere I go, even whenever the spotted bass seem to win. So, anyways, hope you like this video. I will get right into it now. We had a really fun day out there. Man, come on, dude. So, caught a largemouth. Most people don't do that on this lake, but I seem to always do. Probably because I'm up skipping bushes. Second bite of the day, a little bitty one. This is on a, uh, y'all see me throw this, I don't know how many times, a bunch. Just an untamed tackle, Punisher swim jig. I got a little swim bait on backup right now just so I can fish it a little bit faster. It doesn't have quite the presence in this super clear water. Fishing it fast in clear water is usually a really, really big key. Oh, I thought that was a good one, man. I even got like a good look at him and still thought it was a big one. I thought it was two and a half. Another little bit time to keep her large mouth. All right, so I wasn't recording, but I just caught a really, really long, skinny fish with a lot of sores on it. But I had a camera off. That cast ought to get gollywhopped. Right there. What was cool? <laughs> the water hits you when he's flashed. Oh, Not a little large mouth. <laughs> I didn't know you meant like temperature cool. Oh, dude, that was so freaking cool, dude. Really? You like that? Yeah. Dude, oh, no, I didn't like it. That water was cold as hell. Dude, I love this lake, man, but it's frustrating when you're in a tournament. They are on this freaking isolated wood, dude. Dunk. Pick up old reliable. Make sure everything's working and in order. Old jig. Oh, jig and pig. I need a large amount for time. Dang, lost. It. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know. <laughs> I ain't gonna catch him now. Yeah, that was it.
That was a big hook there, there wasn't it? <laughs> It ain't the biting kind though. Where's it at? Oh, on you? Yeah, that's not, it, those kind won't bite, but I don't know. I say they won't bite. I ain't never had them bite me. That's not a yellow jacket. favorite flipping bait on right now baby that's the one i'm about to get straight golly whopped i mean golly whopped by a golly whopper I'm about to get straight golly whopped hung up on a tree all right So, as y'all can see, we caught quite a few fish. Had a good time, got to catch them my way. It's hard though, whenever you're catching them flipping, frogging, you know, throwing a swim jig, chatterbait, stuff like that, and throw, skipping a jig on the docks, and you still just don't catch any big ones. But that is Lake Martin for you. Go over there and you can catch a ton of fish. I'm talking about you can have days where you catch 40 or 50. I mean, it's not even that difficult to do. I usually don't do it because I fish for largemouth, but it's hard to catch them over two pounds. Very difficult to catch one over three pounds. So, anyways. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video. At least I hope you did. I will see y'all in the next video. Go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Tournament season is ramping back up. You don't want to miss anything, so make sure you are subscribed. I will see y'all 